Hi, I'm Carlos Celdran, artist, convict for offending religious feelings, a citizen of Malate, and the current director of the Manila Benal 2018 in Intramuros. Welcome to my home, welcome to my life, and welcome to my mind. So the building that I live in was built somewhere in the mid-1930s. We're not quite sure who the architect is. But one of the reasons why I love living here is because they just don't make it like this anymore. I mean, check out these floors. Hardwood. The material itself, you can't find anymore. But another thing they like a lot is the proportions. They just don't have proportions like this anymore. These proportions are made for human beings, not for ants. And the architecture is streamlined Art Deco. Not the other kind of Art Deco, the more florid one that you probably would associate with the Metropolitan Theater in Manila. But this one is more like a ship. Very clean, very functional. I've lived in this building for the last 10 years. I moved here in 2006, and now it's the home of me and my wife, Tessa, and the current office of the Manila Benal 2018. And this is really, my mind exploded onto a piece of plywood. It's all of my metaphors for Manila. The walled city, the galleon trade. You have the bishops watching you. I don't know why I chose Matthew McConaughey, but somehow it fit. The center of Philippine society being the Manila Cathedral. The American influences of the Statue of Liberty. But also its central focus is death, the Calavera de Manila. Because one of my obsessions in life is trying to teach people what happened during the Battle of Manila 1945, when Manila was completely destroyed and we lost 100,000 civilians who today do not have a memorial. Still. I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> it's pretty much one kind of hat and I consider it to be my brand, I consider it to be my symbol, and I give it away to everybody. But I also like giving these hats away because it's, it shows you how powerful art can be. An image can really change society. Yeah, I'm the executive director of the Manila Benal 2018 in Intramuros. And the reason why I'm trying my darndest to produce this thing is because I believe that art can change Philippine society. And Intramuros was the genesis of Manila's culture. Uh, when Miguel Lopez de Legazpi arrived in 1571, for 400 years, Intramuros has been this bastion of books, of paintings, of seven churches carved out of volcanic ash called adobe. It was where Procerizal studied. It's where the metaphor of Maria Clara and Damaso were made. And unfortunately, in 1945, everything was completely destroyed by the U.S. armed forces in one afternoon. I've been known for being many things. I've been known for being a convict, for being the word Pasaway, uh, for melting down on Twitter and Facebook back in 2016 during the elections. But a lot of people don't realize that I'm really an artist. And this place is where I make my art. And there's really no point in me trying to talk to you about what is my favorite object here because this is all gonna change. It's like a stage set. And the architecture that we have here and its interior decoration is really more functional and is determined by what we need rather than what we own or what we want you to think about. This place was once a performance art space. It was once a gallery, a dormitory for visiting artists. And today it's my home. It's a stage set. It's my mind with furniture. Thanks very much for, for coming.